Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT Channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Well, today we're going to look at some potting materials and uh, how we potted the Muxall Pro Barbecue Controller faceplate. Okay, and, and these are the faceplates for the Muxall Pro Barbecue Controller, right? And as you can see, there's a. Sorry, I'm looking in the, <laughs> the monitor over here to make sure you guys can see what I'm talking about. But uh, as you can see, there's, there's a cavity in here, and that fits the button panel, and, and this is supposed to be a LCD right here, but this is actually my test potting, this is my potting test faceplate. It's 3D printed plastic faceplate, I was just testing different potting materials with, okay? So, and get these guys out of the way. So first, I started with the the MG Chemicals Flexible Epoxy uh, Potting Material. This is, this is very common, and if you see it, it looks kind of like that. It's very uh, shiny, uh, black, and it's, well, this is the flexible. You can get it to where it's hard as a rock, or you can get it where it's flexible. And, and the reason why you want flexibility is so when the components, you know, heat up and cool down, they're, they're allowed to kind of expand and contract a little bit without them being just rock solid and, and plastic, right? And so that was, uh, this is our first, this was our first attempt. And I'm going to go ahead and, and mix a little bit up real quick and kind of show you uh, what we're dealing with. So, first thing you do is, of course, put on your eyeballs. Now you're supposed to be wearing a <laughs> ventilator, and uh, and I'll read you some of the cautions on this real quick. It says uh, uh, contains. Well, I can't pronounce half those words. But anyway, it contains a lot of bad stuff, and it ca causes severe skin burns and eye damage. May cause an allergic skin reaction, harmful if swallowed. May cause. Uh, your liver to blow up, immune system to be damaged, and, um, and it's very toxic to aquatic life. Uh, of course, you don't want to give it to your kids. Uh, <laughs> and it says, uh, do not handle until all safety precautions have been read and understood. Do not breathe fumes, mist, or vapors, and wear protective gloves and clothing. Okay, so here's the instructions. It has multiple pages, but it's really only this much. <laughs> the rest of it's in different language, or different languages. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to summarize this stuff. It's pretty easy, right? It's, uh, you mix, oh, let me get it out of the box here. So you're going to have a, uh, well, a part A and a part B. Oh, here it is. It says it right here, part A, part B. And uh, you're going to mix them first. And then, uh, and then you're gonna do a a one to one ratio uh, with actually these guys right here. Oops. You can tell I've been using. I should probably put my gloves on now, right? And um, let's see here. One to one ratio. You're supposed to let it stand for 15 minutes to de-air, and then break the bubbles with the top of a mixing paddle. These guys, and uh, pour into cavity, uh, which is the face plate. And uh, let stand for 48 hours, <laughs> or for best results, heat cure at 65 degrees C, which is 150 degrees for two hours. And, um, and you can read the rest, it's not very interesting. So that's what we're going to do, and, I, and I'm going to do it, I'm not going to use it for anything, but I wanted to show you, it, it comes out very uh, watery. So uh, I am going to go ahead and put my gloves on here real quick. All right, so I have my gloves on. Uh, I'm not, for the sake of the video, I am going to risk uh, vapor exposure, okay? <laughs> and um, so, uh, but we're not gonna be messing with it too long. And, and then I'm gonna throw it out. So, uh, okay, so here we go. Now the first instruction is to mix part A and part B. And when they mean mix, they just mean they want you to stir, stir it up with a stir stick. They get all the sludge on the bottom 
Oh, and they also, I think it also tells you to check for crystals. I don't remember. That might be another one. Okay, so we mixed part A. And this hat, this is, has uh, graduated, so I'm just going to pour in about 10 mil. Okay. It's always good to have a roll of paper towels with you so you can clean up. Okay, now I'm just making a bigger mess. And that's, that's, this is another reason why uh, we didn't like using this stuff, is this stuff is a mess. I'm telling you, all you have to do is look at this stuff, and it will jump on your clothing and be all over the place. So, um, yeah, that was, that was one <laughs> drawback for this stuff. Okay, now I've got it all over my gloves, all over the roll of paper towels, and we've only done part A so far. All right. So we'll put this back, we'll get our part B out. Go ahead and mix this stuff up too. All right, everything's good there. And oops, I guess we gotta pour out our 10 mil on this guy. All right, and, oh, I'll wipe him up. Okay, this stuff probably gets all over the place too, the part B, but since it's clear, you can't see it as much, so you don't know. All right, I'll set these guys off to the side there, probably don't want to watch that. All right, okay, so we've got our part A and part B, now we're just going to mix them into a cup. Sorry, I do not have a clear cup, and um, like this. This is some exciting video, isn't it? And, uh, all right, so then we're just gonna mix it. <laughs> With a stir stick that has been used several times. All right, so I'm just gonna mix it up. Oh, and um, I don't know if it says, I don't think it says it in these instructions, but with other epoxies, and I'm sure it applies to this as well, when you stir this stuff, you wanna mix it slowly. And, and I know I was mixing it fast at first until I remembered. And the reason why is if you mix it real fast, if you're beating it like you're making scrambled eggs, you're gonna generate a bunch of air bubbles. And if you remember in one of those steps, you have to let it, you know, degas or get all the, to get all the air bubbles out. Otherwise, you're gonna have air bubbles trapped inside your, your potting that can trap dirt and moisture and and it looks bad too. It'll look the, the surface of it will look like the, the surface of the moon. And you don't want that because then customers are gonna think you don't know what you're doing. All right. All right, so I've mixed all this stuff up. You can see it looks looks black. And and this is what I wanted to show you. So it's all mixed up. You're supposed to let it, you know, um uh, <laughs> deep degas or you know, let all the bubbles rise and and everything like that. We're not going to do that. I just wanted to show you the how watery this stuff is. Uh, well, I'll just do, let me just do this. Ready? Here we go. And you can see that is. I mean, it's it's pretty runny. And so with uh, well, this right here isn't actually. This is actually with. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at it myself. I'm not showing it to you. So the first time I did it, I, I tried sealing it up the LCD and the button panel. And, and then I just poured this stuff in just like that. And it literally got all over the place. It was on my bench. It was on the floor. It was everywhere. And even though it might not look very runny right, right there, it will, after about an hour or so, it will find every crack and crevice and hole, and it will ooze through it and be all over the place. All right, so to fix that, oh, what? let me change gloves. Okay, so to thicken this stuff up, uh, one of the guys on the forums recommended this, this uh, fumed uh, silica. 
And I am not going to demonstrate this because this you have to put on a, a face mask. It is, it is, it is, uh, it is a white powder, almost dust. <laughs> and, and you do not want to inhale it. Okay. So, but what you're supposed to do with this stuff is we tried mixing there so we tried so after you mix this stuff up the uh, the epoxy right the the potting compound sorry you uh, so we mix like one tablespoon and and this was the result right there so this one right there so I'm looking and as you can see it oozed it oozed through <laughs> and, and got all over the table that's why the paper stuck to it and it was a mess. Okay. And so, uh, so the number two, uh, this was two tablespoons right here. And this one was doing pretty good at first. You can see it kind of filled up that, that crack a little bit. Didn't ooze too much. Uh, it oozed a little bit through here, but it also, it all, it's right here. It also oozed through. I don't know if you can see that right here. And, um, it wasn't as good. And then, so number three, or three teaspoons, or tablespoons, is this right here. And as you can see, that, that kind of did pretty good. It built up nice, and, um, and it didn't really ooze through these, these holes right here. Sorry, I'm looking to see if you can see it. But it did ooze around the LCD um, corners right here and and I was like you know if this thing gets on the L this stuff gets on the LCD it is never coming off <laughs> I'm telling you so <laughs> so as I wanted to show you this so I decided you know let me uh, clean this this stuff up and um, you know so I'm not sitting here breathing the fumes in and everything and I wanted to show you this I was, I was telling you how watery it is so this stuff actually seeped through the paper onto the table. And I don't know if you can see that. I think this right here is just from me slopping it around, uh, holding this piece of paper up. But yeah, it actually it actually seeped through the paper and onto the table. That that's how watery this stuff is. So <laughs> that's why that's why it wasn't working. So okay. Okay, so <laughs> I, I went ahead and cleaned this stuff up. And, uh, and as I, you know, you saw the paper, so you get it. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to be sitting there breathing in these fumes, right? So, uh, and what I was going to say though, and the reason why we did this is because originally we were using a electronics grade, uh, sorry, I don't know if you can see that, uh, silicone, sorry, it's electronics grade silicone uh, rubber or TV which is uh, room temperature vulcanization, I believe. And, and this is what it looks like. And it looks pretty bad, doesn't it? <laughs> this is one of the face plates, right? And since I couldn't get that, that other potting compound to work properly, I was using this electronics grade uh, RTV. It works good, it just looks bad, right? I mean, this stuff, this stuff is, is, is very durable. It, it holds everything in place uh, well, and um, and of course it's watertight. Okay, and this is one of the beta controller test uh, face plates, and I I believe it's uh, going to be replaced with this one, which is <laughs> as you can tell a a big improvement, right? <laughs> so you know with this beautiful face plate, I didn't want to fill it up with this electronic grade silicone rubber it just wouldn't look right okay so so this this stuff was out we still use this I use it to seal the the LCD and the, the button panel but uh, but as far as potting yeah that one that one was out too okay okay so after hours of scrubbing the internet <laughs> or searching the internet I should say, I finally came up with this stuff here, Loctite SI5140 
Sorry, I can't read the rest. Uh, potting compound and, well, it's a potting compound. And I don't know if you can read it, it's an RTV silicone rubber. And, and so it's very similar to this stuff right here. Um, it's electronics grade. It, it's a military, uh, it meets military uh, specifications, non-corrosive, translucent. Uh, the, the difference between this and this is, well, besides the price, is this is self-leveling. So what we were trying to do with the, with the fume silica, this already has. It's a, I think it's a medium viscosity. Uh, and, um, and so it's, it's already, it's already been thickened for us or in our, in this, in the RTV sense, thin. Okay. So, um, this stuff right here is $64 a tube, all right? <laughs> Compared to this, which is about $8, right? So there's, there's about a uh, order of magnitude increase in price using this stuff. On top of it, you have to keep it in the refrigerator. So it's right, now you gotta keep it right next to your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So, okay, and it, it also, I'll read some of the, the warnings. It's uh, avoid breathing vapors, mist spray, wash thoroughly, after handling, um, contaminated work clothes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, skin disposal, blah. Anyway, the warnings on this is nowhere near <laughs> as bad as as what we were just looking at the um, the other potting the other black potting compound. And I'm trying to think. I think this has yeah, it's got kind of like methanol in it, and I guess that's that's what they're worried about. I don't know. It might have some other bad things in it. They're just not displaying, but. They just list methanol, so I'm guessing for the material safety data sheet, that's what they're supposed to use. Oh, it also has an ex expiration date on it of 8, well this in this case is uh, August of 2020. So uh, yeah, I've got to use this before it expires. So, so it's $64 plus shipping, got to keep in the refrigerator, and it's going to expire on me in about three months. Is that right? Yep, yeah, about three months. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, it, it has some drawbacks. Uh, but anyway, it produces potting that looks like this right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's clear. It's a, uh, it's a lot. It's, a, it's more rubbery. It, it, it feels like regular RTV when it gets hard. It, well, hard when it gets cured. <laughs> Right, it's not like the potting material, which gets a lot harder. Even though this is supposed to be flexible, it's a this is a lot more flexible. But as you can see, it is almost clear. In fact, I, I guess you guys can see that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it, and it it does self level a bit. Uh, I, I kind of have to push it around with uh, with a you know a tool or something to kind of get some of the high spots out, but it, but after you push it around, the, the little peaks in there will kind of flatten out for you, and it looks nice. So this is what we're gonna use on these, because, you know, that's a beautiful looking back of a faceplate. And uh, and be able to see all the electronics and, and everything, you know, per, uh, Perfectly protected by by this stuff here and this uh, 5140 uh, RTV will I think is going to really just be the best Potting material we can find and it ought to be for $64 a two <laughs> Don't forget you can support the Muxall open IOT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.